The story of the Negro Leagues embodies the American spirit unlike any story in the annals of American history. So it is essentially everything that America prides itself in being because it is a rich story about pride, about passion, about determination and courage and perseverance. It is about the refusal to accept the notion that you're unfit to do anything, so I'll show you. You won't let me play with you, I create my own. And that is really the American way. These athletes never cried about the social injustice. They went out and did something about it. I think there are these transcending messages that come from that kind of passion, from that kind of determination that has great credence in the lives of our young people today. Next year will mark the 100th anniversary of the birth of the Negro Leagues right here in Kansas City. As a matter of fact, just around the corner from where the museum operates, the old Paseo YMCA, that is where Andrew Roop Foster led a contingent of eight independent black baseball team owners into Kansas City. They met there at the old Paseo YMCA. Out of that meeting came the birth of the Negro National League. So we have this wonderful platform to celebrate what we think is one of the most significant occurrences, not in baseball history, but in American history. We're looking forward to a year-long national celebration that will commence on February 13th of next year, which will actually mark the actual 100th birthday of the Negro League, right back in the very building that gave birth to this story. This museum, there's nothing sad or somber about this story. No, it is a celebration, and we treat it as such. And I think that's why when people come here, you really do leave inspired. You are inspired by the passion and the pride and the determination and the courage that these great athletes demonstrated in the face of adversity. And again, as I share with our visitors, our story is not about the adversity. It is about what they did to overcome the adversity. And really, that's the story.